Doesn't look like a tight uh, ballet dress, but that's what this one's called. And it's the first one of the day, and we hope you join us and have some fun geocaching. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> Already spotted? It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and go, oh! Bing. Oh, that's a cool little spot. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that would throw you for a loop for sure. No wonder she jumped. <laughs> and we're joined by one of our patrons today, Lauren JT. By one of our patients. Nice. Yeah, one patients. of our patients. Patient. It's so hard to get those words out. This is take number five. <laughs> <laughs> The title of the next cache tells you everything you need to know. Don't bother looking for a trail, bushwhack. So off we go. It's a nice time of year to be out, no flying bugs, but we've already, each of us, found a tick on our pants. So that's the kind of thing you have to watch out for this time of year when the ticks come up. got a hole in the uh, the outer container but this one's triple containered for extra special weatherness is that a word it's gonna be weatherness <laughs> word of the day word of the day weatherness <laughs> The St. Williams Conservation Reserve is part of the Greater Norfolk Sand Plain and a unique feature of the area. A notable feature of this park are the many sand barrens. They are a relatively small but ecologically significant component of the reserve, helping to support some rare insects, snakes, and some migrant game birds. Use of motorized vehicles, horseback riding, and even wildlife, such as wild turkeys, have helped to keep these areas open. The next cache that we're after is a five, three and a half. And uh, I guess a lot of people do the PA up option. So let's see if we can get it without doing that. Five, three and a half. Mm. That's it. Wait a minute. <laughs> that seems like way too easy to get to. This is a what? A decoy. A decoy. A red herring. The cache is close by. So we found the, the tweet at the bird it house part. It now, it might be in that hole in the tree. We gotta go looking around. Let's check, there. check the hole. Oh, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Bang on them. <laughs> Announce your arrival before you stick your hand in there. Because <laughs> you never know. Somebody could be living in there. So we checked out the uh, uh, bird house again. There's no extra compartments or drop down things. Uh, I checked the top of the lid because sometimes people will put the, the cash log in the, inside the top of the lid and a little cover, but that's not it. So uh, we're still stumped and we'll be checking some stumps. This is pretty cool. So we kept coming back to the container because it's a regular, supposedly. But uh, looking inside the container, there was nothing. We're reaching up. There's two screws on either side, but there's something in the lid right here. So, All right, so check this out. Using my phone, because I, I felt something on the top of the lid, but I couldn't quite figure out what it was. Look at that. A green bison tube. We just got to figure out how to get it out of there because it's in there pretty tight. Isn't that cool? Wow. You got it. Awesome. Yeah. Whoa. That was an awesome cash hide to, thanks to Walking Woody. And we didn't have to phone, phone a, friend. a friend. I think we've done something like this before, but not exactly this method. Not in the lid, no. No, but anyway, there you go. I'll put it back and we'll give that two favorite points. Ready? 
and not only were we treated to a really really awesome geocache just overhead we were treated to a flight of tundra swans that you could see in our uh, one minute wednesday video when we visited where they come to here in ontario and they just flew around a couple circuits and then flew off love it baby just like that Woo! Oh, very good, dear. <laughs> we were reading through all the logs and this one was tricky and it said something about uh, a red moss or whatever but just all the little nooks and crannies and I just turned around and there it was awesome let's sign in This cache was supposed to be a small and fairly easy and a classic hide, but despite a search by all of us and even Blake getting in on the action, we're unable to find this and we're gonna have to put it up as a DNF. People have made note of the long growth on London Westie, and they've also asked, when am I going to have a trim? Well, I think that time has come soon because just experiencing the amount of ticks we've had already, I'm thinking this is a good place they're going to want to go. And besides, I've just secured a position that will require me to go work in Michigan, and I'd like to look a little more presentable. Well, that was a fantastic day, roaming around the woods and all the sand. Yeah, but except for all those ticks out there, there was, yeah, there was a lot. lot of ticks. Yeah, that was unfortunate. Mm -hmm. Little about it. itty bitty ones. ones. It was fantastic having Lauren here today. Yeah. It was fun. It was, it was fun. Nice. I had a good time. Yeah, yeah. Great. it was very it was cool. Great hike, great very day. cool having one of our patrons with us on, uh, on our cash expeditions. So, anyway. Thank you very much for joining us. Keep watching, there's more caches to be found and more beers to be drunk. Yes, sir. Where, Where will, will geocaching, geocaching take, take you? you? And we're joined today by one of our patrons, LJT. Nice. Oh, sorry. And we're joined today by one of our patrons. <laughs> patience. Hey. Whoa. And we're joined. <laughs>